I am at the Kensington Palace, about to go into the Crown to Couture show. This exhibition showcases costumes from red carpet events like the Met Gala, like Oscars, as also historical costumes and jewellery. Join me. First and foremost, let's explore the connection between crown and couture. At court, your dress and manners were crucial to getting noticed. A successful appearance could improve your social standing and political position. To Couture show, you'll see historical garments from the past. The bustles, the panniers, the tailcoats and top hats for men. You'll get a glimpse of the different components of these garments. No, these garments were not simple. They were complicated. This is a must-see exhibition for costume designers. When inner wear became outer wear, Dita Von Tees, the American burlesque dancer, wears a corset inspired outfit. Today, the red carpet is the most important global stage for fashionable, political, and social statements. Success on the red carpet can make or break your career. Anna Wintour, Global Editorial Director of Vogue, epitomizes the red carpet. Among the red carpet dresses, you will see Audrey Hepburn's white lace dress, the dress she wore to the Oscars when she won the trophy for Roman holiday. This dress was created by Edith Head and altered by Givenchy. This was the beginning of a collaboration between the actor and the couturier for the next 40 years. The collaboration between Audrey Hepburn and Givenchy inspired Matt Williams to create a dress for Kendall Jenner based on a dress from none other than My Fair Lady. The show featured creations by Giles Deacon, Giambattista Valley and Vivian Westwood. You can also see the green princess gown created by Christopher John Rogers. This dress was worn by Lady Gaga at the MTV Awards 2020. Gaga accessorized this gown with a burgundy mask 
that had horns on either side. American singer Lizzo's richly embroidered black gown. Blake Lively's Met Gala 2022 dress was a homage to New York City. It drew inspiration from landmarks like the Grand Central Station, Statue of Liberty, and last but not the least, the Empire State Building. Crown jewelry, shoes, and embroidered garments formed a large part of the show. The dress Beyonce wore to the Grammy Awards had sun rays as headdress inspired by the African goddess Oshun. A medallion was embroidered near her belly button depicting her family. If you are not strictly into fashion you may explore the exquisite interiors, Queen Victoria's living quarters, or lie on a deck chair and watch the birdies. Crown to Couture exhibition is on till 29th October at Kensington Palace, London. Entry fee is £25 for an adult. Visit if you can. If you cannot, Learn with Samita has done the hard yards for you. Sit on your couch at home with a glass of wine and experience Crown to Couture. Curtsy? Who else? But learn with Samita. Coming up next, Markets of London and a review of the Birmingham Trade Show. Till then, bye for now. Do not forget to subscribe, share, learn and comment. Kensington Palace's past inhabitants Queen Victoria, Prince Albert, Duchess of Kent and Lady Diana.